how's it going um we're back again today working on the uh old blue pickup so i'm currently on my porch right now because it's 14 million degrees over there but um i have a little bit of time before i get ready for work so i decided i would mess with the uh old blue truck a little bit more so I'm really not looking forward to this because holy crap it is hot out there so but there is something new that came out of the blue truck so let's look into that okay there she is pretty much the last way you remember seeing her put the gas can down under here um you'll see a bunch of bolts and whatnot under there but yeah that's totally fine it's nothing i would really worry about i don't typically store it with the door open but i was just looking at it so let's look inside real quick and i'll show you some neat things that this truck now does so number one the shifter is out which ended up being a royal pain in the ass um let's see this is the newest thing last time we left you it actually would start and run key on nothing like nothing at all like the starter's not even there nothing um the battery's got plenty of juice because i can turn this light on so yeah so that's neat um so it's not the battery so i'm pretty sure it's just i'm pretty sure it's the starter um so that's probably the next thing we're gonna look at okay so you can see i have got the transmission disconnected from the motor so that's neat a um, couple things I'm not a hundred percent on so here's a throw out bearing in here I don't know how to get it off that's got to come out there's a wire um, uh, this is very hard to do so here's the flywheel right here this is just literally just a big ass wheel I'm not a hundred percent sure if the flywheel is any good i don't think it's broken so i'm probably just gonna roll with it the way it is <clears throat> so i'm not too terribly worried about it i think my problem now is gonna be this guy here is the starter i don't think the starter's starting so you can see right there um that's where the starter meshes with the flywheel so when you hit the key that's supposed to kick out grab a hold of that flywheel and that's what turns the motor over so we're gonna pull the starter now and i'm gonna show you how to test one okay so we got the starter pulled out of the blue truck um i think the starter is bad but we're gonna find out here shortly so what i've got in front of you is my starter test bench which it's a pretty easy way to go about doing it it takes a uh, one chevy spark set of jumper cables and uh something to set this on preferably you'd want something that's insulated but i'll use a aluminum step ladder thing so to set this up the negative cable needs to go to the body of the starter positive cable needs to go to where the positive battery cable goes in the vehicle the starters can oh, the starter is made up of three different things you have the motor the solenoid and the Bendix, which is the guy that does all the work in here. That's that little gear inside there is the Bendix. So what I'm gonna do, now that I got this hooked up, is I'm gonna use this wire here. It's gonna signify my uh, ignition key. So what that's gonna do is, when I arc it onto this positive cable, it's gonna send 12 volts to the solenoid, which is gonna activate. It's gonna kick out the Bendix, the gear here. Once that's kicked out, it should activate the motor to turn. And essentially, that's what it's gonna do. Now, it has a lot of torque, so it's gonna move around. So I'm gonna try to catch that on camera. But, there it goes. So, there we go, see? That's how a starter works. See if we can get a better shot of it. Kicks out. Turn the key on. Key off. That's it. So when you, turn the, when you turn the ignition key on, that sends power here. Well, typically you have power here all the time, but depending on your car, that sends... You turn the ignition key on to activate your... Um, to activate your ignition, activate your fuel injection, activate the radio, 
Um, and then when you turn the key to start, that input sends power here, from this line to here. And, does, and just like this, that's what starts it. So, okay, so now we figured that out. It's pretty safe to say that the starter is okay. So that means it could be bad battery connections, could be a bad ground either at the starter or on the truck itself, which is right back there. So I don't know, we'll figure out more about that here in a little while. Um, I'm kind of thinking as I'm making this video, so new battery terminals for sure, because um, they're pretty crusty. The battery's new. It's got plenty of voltage, but well, we can check it, but it should have plenty. And then just clean the starter up, clean everything up and see if I can't get it to turn. And then I can show you how that Bendix interacts with the flywheel and how it starts. Um, okay, here we are back under the truck again. So we talked about the starter and we ruled that the starter works. So I've taken it, cleaned it up, but I want to show you the battery connections here. So right up here, you'll see there's the, the large stud here. And this wire goes back to the battery, uh, positive cable on the battery. These two wires coming out of this wire loom right there actually go to the ignition switch, the actual key. So whenever you turn the key to start, that bridges the contact between this wire here and this wire here, which jumps from this post to this post. That's what activates the starter. Now up here, you'll see the transmissions back in. You'll see this is the flywheel right here that we talked about earlier. So the Bendix goes into this little cave right here and activates that gear. It kicks out, hits that gear. That's what turns the motor. So. I'm gonna jump out of here, go ahead and put the starter back in. Okay, so we can see the starter's back in now. And that's the flywheel. So as the starter kicks out, I hook the battery back up. As the starter kicks out, it'll engage that flywheel and start to turn this. So maybe I can position the camera where you can see, where you can see it. But then again, maybe not, I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. Okay, I think I got the camera positioned where I want it. Um, yeah, the shot there. So zoom in on the flywheel. hard to tell if you can see that i'm sure it'll be fine all right i'm gonna jump in the truck i'm gonna try to turn it over you let me know if that flywheel turns and uh yeah so just watch right there you let me know if this thing engages right
Okay, and that's basically how that works. Okay, um, so we got the uh, dust cover back on, starters back in with the heat shield uh, to protect it from the header. So electric motors, when they get hot, they don't want to work. So this makes it a little more of a daily. Uh, moving down, so you can see the transmission's back in. Um, also, oil change. Put the transmission back in. The linkage back here was a pain, let me tell you. So I ended up hooking the linkage up, I guess backwards or upside down. So there's three, three shift selector rods. I don't remember what they all are, but I had them all in here upside down where these brackets, instead of going down, went up which made the truck perpetually stuck in reverse. Um, moving back, that line right there is for the speedometer, which is questionable. And then further back, you'll see that long shaft right there is the drive shaft all the way to the differential. So drive shaft to differential. That's all back in. So the truck is actually complete underneath. Um, all the way back, we did replace the clutch. And I have verified that the clutch works. That's inside here. I didn't catch any of that because that was just, uh, it was a pain. Anyway, so let's go back a little bit. Um, you can see still missing a couple belts here. I think one's for the air conditioner, one's for the power steering pump or vice versa. Neither one of those matter. I got the water pump. So everything's good. So this job for the clutch and the starter problem has been fixed so we know the starter starts the clutch clutches so now I need to get this side of the truck on the ground and then over here the very next thing we got to do is pull the gas tank out that's gonna be a bear I'm Bo this is the blue 82 I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video if you click here you can watch the remainder of the playlist about everything I've done in this truck so far. And if you click just below it here, you can watch the playlist on Dad's Heavy Half. That was kind of fun. And if you click on my big melon, you can subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead. Where, where, yep, yeah, right there. You boop it right on the nose. If you do it three times, you get a special gold subscription. I'm just kidding. You'll have a wonderful day. Appreciate you stopping by.